just posting an update on this board. Uh, if you saw my last video, I showed that I had bought a board and it didn't work and I had a green hue. Well, I figured out that maybe some components might be bad in the video section. As you can see, red, green, blue is it's marked. I already changed it out, but and it's not a very good job. That diode was shorted, so it was just pumping green video signal onto the screen. So, I did that, plugged it in. I have a Golden T98 ROM set, new old stock, that I installed on this board. And turned it on, and the game kept saying that the G-ROMs were bad, the graphics ROMs, which are these 12 chips right here. Now, I didn't know at the time, but these boards came from factory in two different ways. They could either be the 8 meg board set or the 4 meg, which is 8 megs is the size of the ROMs. Now, if it's an 8 meg board set, it only uses two rows of ROMs, but they store twice the amount of information per chip. The ROM set I had is a 4 meg set, so that's why it has three rows. So I got to thinking, well, maybe there was a way to change it from one to the other. Now, I'm glad I keep spare parts because this was the original board that was in the Golden Tee Classic, which is burned up. It does not work. The lights don't flash like they're supposed to. But I got to looking, and I was like, okay, well, if you look up here where the sound ROMs are supposed to go, see, that's what SROM means, sound ROM. There's a little bitty jumper that says either 4 meg or 8 meg. So I was like, okay, there's got to be something down low where the G-ROMs are at. So I started looking around, and look, there's more jumpers. Okay, my solder job is awful, but I don't have a very small solder pin. So it's very difficult for me to do the small solder connections. This might be getting a little technical, but if you can see right here, these are different sets settings that you can do, but depending on where the jumper is. So I literally matched the other boards that I have, the working one that's in my classic, and decided to swap the jumpers over from where they were to here. Where they were to here. Now they were factory soldered on on these positions here. So as you can see, like that is what a proper solder job should look like. Yeah, sorry about that. Looking at the original board that is burned up, you can see already that it was already preset like that from factory with these jumpers where they are. So this isn't necessarily a repair video, but if anybody happens to have one of these boards and for some reason their ROM set's not working right, then you've got a way to check it to see if the ROMs are correct, such as a flasher for your computer. And they all read to be correct. You might just have to do that one little change over here with these jumpers to make it work. But to show you I'm not crazy, let me just go ahead and turn this on real fast. It's got a dead battery, which is all right. Apparently that solder job wasn't too bad. Now I had another problem with this, so I was like, okay, it works great. Well, I went into the system tests, which is 
just going into the operator menu, you go to system tests, go down to player controls tests. You know, you can see all all of the movements here, the trackball, left, right buttons. And the trackball was doing something like this sporadically. So I'm thinking, okay, well maybe the trackball is bad. So I tried it with another trackball, still was doing the same thing. So I was thinking, maybe it was something I did. So I double checked all of my connections and everything was fine. Decided to look at the plugs. There's a little plug in here that is for ground. And I had fixed this. This is ugly. I know it's ugly, but on the game that this is used for, this plug is actually not being used. What I mean is, this is actually my Golden Tee Complete project. I sent the board off to get repaired. So this plug isn't even used for Golden T4. So I figured, why don't I just solder a little wire onto this because the ground came off of the plug. So I soldered this little red wire onto it and then soldered the red wire to the two grounds because when I would touch the ground back to the plug, the jittering would stop. And now it is smooth as butter. A little bit of gameplay footage, I guess. Won't hurt. Yeah, that's fine. Literally the same game as classic. That truck ball sounds awful. So yeah, it works. I, I have a spare board for my other golden Tino.